Hello, 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 hello. If you notice behind me now, look, the alphabet question is up, isn't it? So hello. So thank you for coming back for story and for alphabet quest. So we've sung happy birthday. We've sung our goodbye song. Remember everybody, come join me tomorrow, Friday, four o'clock for VE Day on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, it's gonna be on the Swing D Hop Instagram and Facebook not the Moojangles. So my sister company, Swing D Hop. You'll see it across the Moojangles pages anyway, but we're gonna do a Shim Sham for VE Day. So come and dance with me. You don't have to know it. You can just dance with us, can't you? Yes. So we're gonna see what letter we're at. What letter do you think we're at? I'm listening to the shout outs. So we've done F, 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 F. We've done G, haven't we? So we're up to the letter H, the letter H. So the way we do that is we go like that. So the letter H is It's like we're breathing on a steamy window, like that. Or if you cough, but it's a steamy, a steamy, so a letter H. Now, what words do we know that begin with the letter H? If you can read that, there's one word. But if you can't read that, you might understand what this picture is. What is that? It is a house. Yes, it is a house. Well done, Mr. Mookow. House. Can you say it? House. It is indeed. It's a house. And that begins with the letter what else have we got? Something on us that begins with two things I can see on us that begin with the letter H. The letter <sighs> We have got a hand, haven't we? A hand that begins with the letter H. A hand. And what have we got in our head? What's that? We've got hair. So hair begins with H, doesn't it? Begins with the letter H. Well done. So we are steaming through our alphabet quest, aren't we? So we're at H. If we get to Z, it means that we've been in quarantine for a long, long time, doesn't it? So we're gonna put him back. We are up to H. Well done. So we know that we're at week eight because that's the eighth letter of the alphabet. H, well done. Now say bye bye Mr. Mookow, goodbye because we're gonna have a story. Yes we are, we've got someone else to say hello to now, haven't we? So, who's in here? Now if you've joined us before, you'll know who's in here. Should we open up? Who's this? Hello. Hello bookworm, how are you? He's very good, he says. I'm going to get my little reading bench, my little stool. So this is Mr. Bookworm. Say hello. Hello. What are you? What are we reading today? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's an Osborne book and it's the Osborne Little Stories for Bedtime. Little Stories for Bedtime. Should we start from the beginning of this? Should we start with the owl's story, yeah? Then maybe next time we can have the elephant story. If there is one. So the owl's story we're going to read today. You see this picture of the owl? Today we're going to read the owl's story. It's like a little short bedtime story. So if you do want to revisit this just before bedtime, you could listen to this just before you go to bed. I've made up a bedtime story, said Owl. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please, said Badger. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful owl, began Owl. And she was feeling oh, ever so sleepy. So she went to sleep. Badger waited for the rest of the story. But Owl didn't say anything else. Is that the whole story? said Badger. It's not very long. And it doesn't have any badgers in it. 
I think all good stories should have at least one badger in them. But I like my story the way it is, said Al, fluffing up her feathers. I don't want to change it. Oh, and she flew off. Badger felt cross and didn't say anything. After a while, Al flew back. Badger, she said. Badger didn't say anything. I've made up a new story, said Al. Would you like to hear it? Suppose so, said Badger. Once upon a time, said Al, there was a beautiful owl and a beautiful badger. And they were both feeling oh, ever so sleepy. Oh, said Badger. I like this story much better. What happens next? They both go to sleep, said Owl. And they did. Both fallen asleep. Very sweet, very nice little story. So we will read another one of those next week from here from the little stories for bedtime. Well, we're going to say night nights now, aren't we? Go back in, goodbye, bye, 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 bye. He's gone back to sleep in his book. He's gone back in. So have a lovely week, everybody. I'll see you again next week. Um, if you want to join me tomorrow, as I said, four o'clock on the Swing D Hop uh, Instagram and Facebook. Come and do the Shim Sham for VE Day with me. Do a little bit of dancing with me. But otherwise, I'll see you next week for another Mood Angles. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Bye, 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 bye.